What the butt? It's like the beginning of Space Odyssey. Welcome to the Astral Plane, Snorlord. You teleported us? Oh, no. You're still comfy cozy with me. I just merged your minds. Merged our what? I gave no consent to this planescaper. She's not big on asking permission. It's all pretty sure this and fate of the galaxy that. Don't you get huffy, god guy. Your gold hands are all over this mess. What's that supposed to mean? I thought this guy was how we cure Drax. Cure and cause can coalesce. Biggest? What's the first? Oh, right. How could I forget about nowhere? <laughs> uh, guys? Is that Drax? So we're going into Drax's head. Literally. Green Meanie's in there somewhere. Find him and convince him to come back to reality. Mantis, please tell me we're supposed to be going into the bright light. Pretty sure. You need to reach the heart of Drax's promise. Much deeper than I've ever seen. Wait, if you've never seen it, does that mean it never happens? Hope not. Just keep going. And if we lose contact, listen to Amy Winsaw. She means you. Quite clearly. Amy Winsaw. Whoa. This is Drax's promise? Mine was a lot less downery. This is just a doorstep. Poor guy was stuck here, reliving the loss of his family. Your friend's fear and pain primed him as prey. What do you know about it, Goldilocks? There's the big galoot. That was easy. This is just an echo, little fuzzy. Part of poor Greeny can never stop digging. Uh, until the excite starts You're the only one that hears that, right? <laughs> Barrel Barrage. That's what I can remember. What the heck? Hope the rest of you are as ready for this as I am. Mitchell! The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Not so tough after all. Something's not right. You failed to fathom the rules of this realm. <laughs> what the? Okay, that's new. That's new, right? I think I remember there being two of them. Twice the ugly, twice the target practice. <laughs> Looks like his defenses are down. Goldie, don't suppose you want to lend a hand. It is a futile foray. He said no. Yeah, I got that one. Thanks. What's next, Peter? At this rate, we're going to be outnumbered. It's like he can't be killed. As far as Jack's concerned, he can't. Come on! Put him down! 
obsession. Is that supposed to mean something to us? So I thought he said when I gave it up, no, but good. not creepy at all. Hold up. Look. I bet I could beat you to the center. Are you so keen to usurp your father, little one? <laughs> not so fast, little one. Drax! Wait up! Something doesn't want us to reach Drax. Maybe Drax doesn't want us to reach Drax. There he is again! Drax, buddy! Wait up! Forced to follow fools. Father, you've been playing in your mother's garden again. I was hunting. Hunting dirt? No, I chased it, but it was too quick. Only fools rush forward. A hunter waits, chooses her moment. Drax. <clears throat> Papa, are you all right? What the flock is that? Nice little one. Your mother waits. Insidious succubus! Release your thrall! It's not in Kansas anymore. Mark are those, spawn of shadow! Snuff their source while I widen our They're way! They're coming from those nests! Gotta give some. Mm -hmm. Hello, Colora. How's it going, buddy? Mm -hmm. So it's just him left. Then. Define all 
right. I think we gotta look at whatever's keeping us from Drax. You saw simply its spawn. That black stuff. I saw something like it in my promise. Is that Drax's wife? I think so. Hovat. Then this must be Drax's home. Yeah, okay. -ish. You two certainly took your time. Only fools rush. Come, my love. Let us go inside. Drax, buddy. Your words are wasted, Wind. Easy, all right. I got this. Come on, big guy. I know you can hear me. Why do you haunt me? We're gonna lose him again. It's me, buddy. Stormlord, remember? We're all here. You're stronger than this, Drax. Come on, you big lug. Don't leave me alone with Quill. Drax, dinner is ready. That's not Hovat. You gotta let her go. Do not know what you ask. Damn it! Here we go again. All right, seek and destroy just like last time. Make haste. The mom means to snap shut. I cannot contain it. Let go of me. see any new promise at least we are an empty eternal echo naked nothingness not helping hobo wizard all right everyone just split up and look for a way out hobo wizard. or forward or whatever i lose a bet if i die in a dark pit it was alone in a dark pit and you can't pay me for both dead drax come on buddy i know you can hear me this ain't flarkin funny i know you're in a dark place right now literally but we're not gonna give up. Gemelholic. Just point us in the right direction. <laughs> what if the big lug runs again? Doesn't look like there's anywhere to run to. Not like it stopped them before. There! Look. I can't believe that worked. Let's go. Part of him is still with us, I'm sure of it. I hope you've got one hell of a speech plan, Peter. That makes two of Your us. Rank, huh? mm. We have it as cricket boy. Why are you doing this? Do not leave me be. You gotta trust us, Drax. We're trying to help. By destroying my home. Your blissful ignorance is in. Ignor well, number one cricket boy. Easy Shakespeare. We got this. Come on. 
You don't really want to stay in this dark hole? I would endure the depths of Sarduth to be with my family. Drag, Slav. It is time to eat. fearless mate I have ever known. He brought me peace even during times of war. My Camaria. My innocent little Camaria. She was the best of us both. Despite her meager stature, they both were. were. family is gone, what sits before me? I don't know. But it's not real. And it ain't good. It is a perversion. Fed by desperation. Without it, I will have nothing. I cannot be alone again. You're not alone, man. We're here for you. We've all lost someone, Drax. But it gets easier if you surround yourself with the right people. I am Groot. Uh, Groot said some mushy stuff. Let's just pretend I said it too. <laughs> Cherish the time that we had, and not resent the time that we lost. <gasps> Shall love and honor you both. Always. How you doing, big guy? You okay? I am of sound mind, thanks to you all. I owe amends for my lapse in judgment. Hey, you don't owe us squat. Ain't none of us perfect. It's kind of our thing. <laughs> How much do you remember? Great darkness grew with every lie that I swallowed. The longer I remained with my family, the more certain I became that I could never leave. You quill. Your child is in danger. If her pain is half of my own, the darkness may consume her entirely. Not if I can help it. We gotta be smart about this. 
There's a whole lot of converted between us and her. A whole lot of that black blorf, too. And anyone want to tell me why Harry Hobo was able to suck it up? More than why that thing looked like him. Because it is me. Explain that bombshell? Time is tight and your understanding unimportant. Can I shoot him? Come on, let me shoot him. <laughs> eh, that first fight don't count. Look, I don't know what's going on, but it's Imagine ambivalent omnipotence drifting in darkness. Uh, speaking of dark. Such was my celestial solitude. Power without purpose until uncovered by Raker. His crew were convalescent. Plagued by a pox, I was serendipitously suited to soothe. A ship full of sick people just happens upon someone with limitless healing? We were need and needed, symptom and solace. I worshipped the wonder of my ways and declared me divine. I think we know where this is going. I do not know where this is going. This is the scary part? As the flock of followers fawned, a dark delight developed deep within me. And in the shadows it spoke. Weak whelps, pernicious priesting, feeble fools fit for feasting. Hubris made hunger. A cancerous craving called Magus. What did it want? Complete devotion. I too heard this voice, and could hear nothing else. Adulation, flagellation, gorge with grief and consternation. I told you this was the scary part. It was pure putrefaction, sown from the seed of my strength. My soul stone gone sour. I resolved to rip it out. Rip it out? How? A mechanical marvel wrought by Raker would sever the stone from my skull and excise the evil entangled within. Translation, you let Raker steal your powers. Whatever his wayward wander, he was on that day my friend. He swore to separate sanctity from sin, that my healing could yet be harnessed without harm. Sure, but who's harnessing it? I'm with Rocket. Raker knew exactly what he was doing. That man's a master manipulator. Damn it! Now you've got me doing it. I bear no blame for my fallen friend. Our errant experiment all but broke us both. Then how do you explain how your best bud got his hands on the stone and is now taking over the galaxy? I cannot. I think I can answer that. After I rejected my promise, I got pulled into Nikki's. Corral was there. She was trying to show me something. Peter, you can't trust anything you saw in there. This was different, and it felt different. She took me back to the QZ, and I saw that Magus thing. I saw it get all twisted up with Nikki, and I... I saw it kill Corel. You hear yourself? How'd she show you this if she's dead? Quite conceivably. Her soul may be snared by the stone, chained to the child. That's what Corell said. The three of them are somehow connected. She said Nikki needs to accept her death. Magus preys upon her pain, manipulates her mind while feeding on her flock of followers. And I'm guessing it never gets full. Its appetite is insatiable. If unassailed, Magus will absorb all. We're gonna need one hell of a plan. Well, you better come up with it quick, because I see daylight. The bond between Magus and Matriarch must be broken. It harvests its hunger through the host. So, Nikki's like the head vampire. If we cure her, it'll free the rest. 
Why didn't you just say that? 